Okay, everyone. So I finally managed to find the time to update my prompt uh, in order to bypass AI detection. In this video, I'm going to give you this prompt, show you how it works, and make sure that you can write content that easily bypasses AI detection. Let's get into it. So we're going to be using GPT-0, just so you know. I don't really know what the golden standard of um, AI detection is, but I know that a lot of people do use um, GPT-0. So the way that this works is basically there's um, two things that you have to fill in in order to write an article, right? So there's keyword, there's three things actually, keywords, internal links, and images. So I'm just going to show you how to fill all of that information in real quick. So let's just get rid of this first of all. And get rid of this. So the way this works is we do have to manually fill in this information, right? The actual prompt is only three pages. By the way, if you want to work with those guys, um, feel free to click one of these links um, in the description of this video or at the top of the prompt. If you want SEO, backlinks, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So effectively, what we need to do is we need to give it internal links and a keyword and image embeds. We'll keep the keyword to best sneakers for men in 2025. And then I'll just show you how to fill in the other parts of this. So we go to two men sitemap.xml and we'll open up the collections, right? Because this is where a lot of the internal links are that are important to this business. So I'll just do control A, control C, control shift V to paste it in the internal links, right? And then the other thing we need is images. So we'll just go to collections slash sneakers here, because obviously this is an article about sneakers. You want to like click and drag the first box, the first image, shift click on the last image, control C to copy, and then you go to paste to markdown, click the first one, control V to paste, control A, control C to copy. And then we go back to random prompt and we control shift V image embeds. There we go. Now it's 93 pages. Now the reason we're going to be using, I'll, I'll use a few different models at the same time, but um, the only one that actually seems to follow the prompt exactly is um, actually Gemini 2.0 Pro. But we'll try this with three different models, okay? We'll do Gemini 2.0 Pro Experimental. <clears throat> we'll do GPT-03, um, I think Mini? Mini High, we'll do. And obviously Sonnet with a normal um, style, okay? So we'll paste this prompt here and hit run. Paste this prompt here and hit enter. And we'll put this prompt here and press enter. So we'll see how each one of these performs, right? But this prompt should make it uh, effectively impossible to have any AI detection, okay? So we'll see how this goes. This is a live video. There's not gonna be any editing or anything like that. I'm not gonna edit anything out. But like overall, we can see um, that the article here is good, right? Top brands, Premiata, Kitons, and Tony KMT. Introduction. So this is just the outline. So we'll just scroll down here. Uh, let's see the actual article. Okay, so that's completely fucked up because it hasn't even written an article. So I'll just say now, write the article. Uh, let's see here. What has this done? Yes, create the article. So you can actually see the, the only one that's done the job is actually Google, right? I don't know how this is happening, but Google seems to have taken things into their own hands. Now, a couple of things. First of all, this content is not particularly long, okay? So just be wary of that. There should be a copy button here somewhere, right? Copy markdown. Okay, there we go. And then we'll just get rid of the outline here. Okay, so. One second, sorry. This is the end of the outline. There we go. Okay, so this is the article that it's written. Uh, I can see already I'd have to change a few things because it's done. Uh, it hasn't done H2 headers, but overall, you know, the article is really, really good. Uh, just needs a few changes, but overall, like I said, it, it is a very, very good article. 
Images are all clickable. There's a lot of internal links to, you know, the correct pages, etc. Now here's the important thing, right? This is a live video, so I don't even know if this is going to pass GPT-0. Um, I, I'm, I'm not editing this video, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. I might need to buy more tokens. There we go. So it's actually 49% probability AI generated, right? So we are uncertain about this document. So if you are writing for someone who is using software like this, then this is a really, really good way to pass AI generation. Okay. The way this works, by the way, if you're curious, uh, I'll just walk you through how this actually works. It's mainly this part here. Uh, sorry, it's mainly this part here, right? Right, using words a seven-year-old would understand, but don't make it cringe. And then also uh, this here, right? Take uh, the, the, all of this stuff here is um, important. This is a terrible sentence example, which I gave it. It's just to totally avoid this style of writing, okay? Now let's see how this actually compares to something like ChatGPT, right? Which in my opinion will fail miserably, but we'll see. Not in my opinion, my, my experience, it will fail miserably. However, it does look like it's a lot longer content. So that's, that's nice. Uh, I do actually have to, um, sign up. Okay. So O3 mini actually has an even less AI, uh, probability. So it's 33% AI, uh, generated. It's just really, really good. Um, you can see it's actually going down. This is O3 mini. Okay. So the really cool thing about this is this is actually a super long article as well, right? This is like perfect writing. Um, the fact that this is not AI generated as well is, is crazy. Okay. So actually we'll just copy this and I'll just show you just how long this article actually is. So we'll copy this, take this to Markdown's HTML. You can see that it's got headings, right? Real headers, beautiful. This is probably the best article so far, I would say. Let's just see how long it is. I'm going to say it's like 2000 words, but I'm not actually sure. It looks like it might be more than that. No, it's about, yeah, it's bang on 2000 words. I can kind of tell just, uh, I've, I've done this so many fucking times. It's unbelievable. So last but not least, let's see how all of these compare to my original favorite, which has now completely messed up and has not even put images in, but my previous favorite of Anthropic, Claude. Sonic 3.5, 89% AI generated. Very, very interesting case study right here. It used to be the case that Anthropic was the number one at avoiding uh, AI generation, but it's actually now the opposite. Absolutely crazy. I was not expecting this to be the result of this video. It looks like the order, uh, despite what I previously thought, the order is actually O3 mini. Uh, high, I think I used O3 mini high at the very top, right? Seems to have followed the prompt perfectly. And then 2.0 Gemini. And then unbelievably, which I never thought would be the case, but 3.5 Sonnet is actually at the very bottom here. Now, I guess just to be fair, I think the final thing that I'll do here is I'll just run this through DeepSeek very, very quickly just to kind of see uh, what happens, uh, and how this actually compares. So we'll just send this. Okay. I can already look at this and say that this is the worst one so far. Um, except maybe anthropic. We'll just see, I'll just do a very, very small amount of this, but you can see just the way that it's written sneakers have become more than just athletic footwear. They're a statement of style, comfort, and personality. hundred percent. This is AI generated hundred percent. I can just tell I've done this so many times, honestly. If you don't know, I built an entire software and one of the things I had to do was make sure it passed uh, GPT-0. This is my software. It's an AI content generator. Generally speaking, it passes GPT-0. However, more recently it's been failing and I'm going to have to go back and fix it. So yeah, uh, DeepSeek is the worst. You can just tell the writing. Just I, All I had to do was look at it for one second and I could tell that DeepSeek would be 100% AI generated. It's just obvious to me these days. So O3 mini high, then 2.0 uh, Gemini. O3 mini high is by far the best AI writer because it also writes huge amounts of content. As you can see here, it wrote 2000 words in a couple of minutes. Uh, honestly, in my opinion, O3 mini high or O3 mini are the best content writers right now. 2.0 Gemini is looking like it might be the second best, followed by Sonnet and then R1 DeepSeek. 
Thanks for watching, guys. As usual, you can get the prompt completely for free uh, with no signups or anything in the description of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. And I will see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.